Hello, my name is Robert, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how to do the grass material. So first of all, if you actually haven't done this yet, you might want to go check out my previous video, where you will learn how to do a how to set up a particle system with grass to make grass. So the first thing we want to do is go into our node editor and make sure you're in cycles. So with the grass selected over here, we want to press uh, use nodes. And we're going to uh, delete the diffuse. And the first thing we're going to look up is RGV. And we want a really uh, light green, like really, really light. And this will be our glossy, okay? So let's hook this up to the color and add a roughness around 0 0.4, maybe just a little bit more. Uh, 0.405 will work fine. Uh, let's also add a mix shader. And we're actually going to want two of these. So let's shift D. And we're, this will go down here. And this will go up here. And for the fact, we only want 0 0.1. And we want to hook this up to the surface. Okay, cool. So now we want a diffuse and this will be basically the base color of our grass. And I'm also going to look up for a translucent. And this will sort of give it a pretty cool effect with the light and stuff. And for the effect we want to lower this just a little bit. Um, 0 0.405 0 .405 will work fine. And now we want a color ramp. And basically this will be our color for our diffuse and our translucent, which will appear obviously in our grass. So if we select our black color over here and we press here, we can choose a nice shade of green we probably want something pretty dark. And you don't want to have um, too much saturation. Uh, that will work fine. And now we'll click on the white color and let's make a light green. Um, yeah, it should work fine. And we're going to hook this up to the color and also to the color of the translucent. And before I forget, for roughness, we want 0. Uh, 0 0.07 maybe. Yeah, that should It'll work fine. And now what we want to do is set up the fact for this, because if we don't set this up, uh, the diffuse and the translucent color will be this shade of green that you're seeing. Uh, well, not this shade of green, like one that's right in the middle. And that's not what we want. So what we want to look up is object info. And although there is, I believe, a here info, uh, where you actually, or actually, as you, well, eh, we're, sorry. <laughs> we're actually using hair hairs uh, but it's making it's spawning me uh, real meshes okay so that's why we want object info so let's go back into our node editor and let's delete this and we want a math node oops what did I just do I have no, no idea well let's just look up math um, and multiply could work, but we're actually going to use overlay. Hmm. Actually, no, we actually want a mix RGB, sorry. Mix shader. No, not this. Oh, jeez. RGB. Mix RGB, sorry. So we could do uh, multiply but overlay will work better and for the fact we want one so we want the random 
to go down here and the color to go into our fac. And now we want another color ramp, but let's actually just make a new one. And let's hook this up to the color. And we want our blacks around here and our whites right over there. And now what we want to do is we want to look up for, we want to look up geometry. And we want to get a texture. And we're going to get the texture from the position of our geometry. Okay. So, oops. Shift A, noise texture. And we're going to set the position to the vector so it knows where that texture will be. And the fact will go to the fact of the color ramp. So you should have something like this. And as you can see, it's something pretty simple and it works pretty nice as well. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, any suggestions, make sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.